Do you feel, because obviously you've trained with um, Machina, that you have some kind of advantage um, when it comes to, obviously, it's a late preparation for you. I mean, what have you had to change now? Yeah, I, I definitely do feel that it's, and it's, it's an advantage to be able to have a tra uh, train with Machida because a lot of people don't have that luxury. A lot of people didn't. A lot of people don't know the feel that he has, and, and that is definitely an advantage I have uh, to be able to feel um, how, his, how, how he is, how his stance is, how low his hands are. Uh, how he enters, how fast he is, and all that. That's that's. Because he's quite unorthodox, isn't he? So for you, if you've had that experience training with him, yeah. and for someone that maybe might not have, again, I mean, how are you going to overcome the stance, the unorthodox? Yeah. So there's there's a lot of things that, having said that, I have an advantage over him. You know, there's there's things that I've been drilling uh, to be able to close the gap, to be able to get the angles on him that I want to be able to take him down to the ground where I'm at my best. Um, that's that's ultimately where the fight's going to be, it's on the ground or against the cage. It just doesn't matter. So um, so I, I'm, I'm confident that I'm going to get the fight there and I'm confident that that uh, that that the fight's going to be there the majority of the time. Um, you know, I, I definitely was looking forward to punching Michael in the face. I was. But at the same time, I feel for him because a retinal tear is, is something that's very serious and uh, don't wish that upon anybody. And when I say I look forward to punching him in the face is, is because, you know, he was looking forward to punching me in the face too, you know, so, um, and, uh, and, and he had some kind of some stuff to say about me, so I'd like to return the favor with my fist, so. But, is Machida a better matchup for you than uh, Machida is a problem for anybody. But like I said before, when having trained with them is an advantage because now I know, now I know what to expect and, and I'm confident going on to win. What are the, the key differences between Bisping and Machida? There's a big difference uh, between Machida and he, uh, he's a very good kickboxer. Uh, um, there's, having said that, there, there's a, a big difference, but there's a lot of similarities. Um, they have good uh, takedown defense, so good cage work. Having said that, um, they they're different in the fact that how their stance is and. And what they do with that stance to be able to capitalize on the openings they have, um, uh, the angles that they make, uh, it's very different. And a lot, and Machida poses a lot of problems for a lot of guys because they can't deal with those angles because he comes in at a different way or he kicks at a different way, he kicks at a different angle, which people don't see sometimes, you know. And, and uh, that that uh, poses a problem for a lot of people. So. Um, so they're very different, but similar at the same time. Do you think that's an advantage on his part because he's coming fighting? We're supposed to fight Tim Kennedy, and then now fight yourself. Both sort of wrestling style fighters. There's a lot of similarities between yourself and, yes. and Tim Kennedy. Yes. Do you think that that maybe gives him an advantage that he's fighting a, a slimmer opponent while you've had to change up so much? You know, I don't think so because uh, we were training partners, so we know each other. <laughs> I wouldn't say we were, we are training partners. So uh, we were planning to train together for four days a week, three, four days a week. And then all of a sudden it was just like, oh shoot, we're fighting each other, crazy. So uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's for anybody either way because because he was fighting Tim Kennedy, I was fighting Michael Bisping, but we trained together and that's, that's the uh, that's the ultimate right there, right? Is that we know each other. You say you trained with him. You obviously, you've made the cut down from 205 to 185 before. That's a cut he's now making to fight you. Yeah. How do you think he'll adapt to the new weight division? Do you think that's a good cut for him, or do you think you know you might be a, a rude welcome to the 185 yeah. division? Uh, you know, I definitely want to make a, make it a rude welcoming, um, just because I want to win the fight. But in a way, I don't because. You know, he's my friend, but at the same time, I'm looking to win the fight and winning convincingly. Um, but having said that, he he he's been light at light heavyweight. He weighed in at one time at 199, 
uh, others at 202 and 201. You know, so so I don't think it's going to be a problem for them to make to make middleweight. I don't think I don't think it's going to be a problem at all. Um, two weeks ago, he was 198. So uh, so I don't think the cut's going to be a big deal for him. Without looking um, too far ahead, um, what what do you see in the future? Uh, I see a title shot in the future. So it's it definitely whoever wins between Anderson and and uh, Chris Weidman. We'll see. Did you predict that result in the first round? Uh, no, I didn't. Go down I didn't go. I didn't expect to go down that way. Um, I, Anderson's my friend, and I lost to Chris Weidman. You know the scar is evidence of that, and uh, I want that fight back. We've seen recently with uh, with Kevin Velasquez and Daniel Cormier, Cormier moving down to light heavyweight. Part of that decision is motivated by not wanting to have to fight Kevin yeah. Velasquez. Yeah. Fighting training partners is something that a lot of fighters seem to have really polarized opinions on. Some people just yeah. say, you know, no, I won't do it, whereas some people yeah. are open to it. Yeah. How did that thought process go through you? Uh, we we really didn't have. Uh, thought process to actually go through. We didn't have much of a choice. As we didn't have a choice. Stage. Nobody. Uh, we didn't have a choice. There was no choice. A lot of people. So, sorry, carry on. It's okay. Um, let me finish this one. Yeah, there was no choice. So I, I, uh, I couldn't. I couldn't go either way. Did you, you guys know? talk about it? Yeah, we talked about it. We did, and and uh, we shared the same opinion about it. And um, you know, I'm sure. I'm sure if you were on over there in his scrum. You know, he would be saying the same thing. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, it's crazy. Uh, it's kind of a tangled web we weaved here in mixed martial arts. I know you're probably sick of the question about your weight gain and then your weight loss. Actually, I'm not. I'm not. What was the final to say the last draw? Where it's like I need to get myself back to shape. Yeah. So just to preface your question with. Uh, how I lost that weight. The reason why I got that heavy is because um, look at this scar. That's that's one evidence, right? So people have scars. People deal with things, and um, you know, I I I, uh, I went through a hard time after the loss against Weidman. So I went into that fight with a broken foot. Didn't even know it was broken. Before that fight, I was fighting. I was supposed to fight Chael Sonnen. I end up. I end up. Uh, having bone spurs in my elbow, my arm was locked like this and I couldn't fight against Chael Sonnen. So I'm a, I'm a professional athlete. I don't get paid until I fight, right? I have a wife and four kids. My gym was barely scraping even and I had to pay sometimes to make it, to make it, you know, to make it in the black, you know, or not in the black, but, you know, even. So, so that it, it was, it was a time where I was having a lot of adversity, and then when I lost the way I lost, and then the doctor told me I had to sit out a year. Dude, I'm not a guy that parties or does drugs or alcohol, but I love to eat, and uh, just like one of Austin Powers, Austin Powers' uh, characters in his movie Fat Bastard, I ate because I was sad, and I was sad because I ate, you know.